Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Have you ever been caught off and got mugged off whilst mining? Not fit any weapons, you've only got mining lasers? Well, the Mining Lancer power play item could be the tool for you. Aligning yourself to Zamina Torval will allow you to unlock the Beam Mining Lance, a weaponized mining laser that will allow you to incur damage on enemy ships should you be caught short. Get yourself over to the Sinenti system and that's where Zamina Torval hangs out. That's her seat of power. You can rock in there, align yourself from any position, but once you get to rating level three, which is typically four weeks of being aligned to that, particular power, you can unlock the Mining Lance. You then that got to go through by unlocking 750 merits to get yourself at rating 3. Now, once you've gone past four weeks of being aligned with Zamina Torval, the Lance will unlock once you've delivered 750 merits. And how do you do that? Well, these can be done by preparation, expansion or control missions. This basically involves you stocking up on some sort of propaganda or deeds or anything like that that you can get from a core system or a controlled system and delivering it to a system that might be in preparation, expansion or control status. Now typically this can be done quite easily, you haven't got to wait, but it is going to cost you a bit of money. But it's elite dangerous, so everything costs you a little bit of money. Now for this, I typically use my good old Type 9. It's got 752 tons worth of cargo in it, which means in one sitting, I can go off, get all my deeds and transport it to my system of choice. Now you may not have a ship as big as this because they cost a lot of money. They do cost the in-game dollar. In which case then, what you're gonna have to do is make a few trips, but it's up to you. If you want militarized mining lasers, as in the beam mining lance, then this is the way to do it. Now, like anything in Elite Dangerous, getting these deeds to deliver to somewhere in preparation or expansion is a bit of a grind. And when I say it's a bit of a grind, you're gonna wear out that mouse or controller button on your keypad doing it. You can only ever collect 10 items of deeds or propaganda or whatever at any one time. And then what happens is, is that you have to wait a period of time or you pay some money. And when I say pay some money, we're talking about in-game credits. You've got to pay 100,000 in-game in credits to expedite that process. If you don't, you've got to wait 30 minutes before you can buy something else. But here's the thing. If you've got a ship big enough to have that amount of dockets or chits or deeds or whatever it is you're collecting, propaganda, then you're gonna have 7.5 million. If not, jump in another ship and go bounty hunting or jump in another ship and go mining. Get your 7.5 million from somewhere just to expedite that process. Once you've done that and you've filled your hold full of this propaganda or power play items, we'll call it, it's time to find yourself a place where you can take it. Now, by this, you go into the person of choice, Zamina Torval in this case, and you look at preparation and say, hey, you know, where is that? You look at expansion, look at control. Where can you take these places that are not so far away? A couple of jumps, all right? Otherwise, you have to look at putting in a Guardian frameshift drive booster or a fuel scoop. That's gonna eat into your inventory and you're in a world of hurt. But once you have found it, get yourself into space, get your flipper down and get yourself over to that system that needs those expansion documents or preparation documents or control documents. Couldn't be easier. Now, once you've arrived at your destination system, offloading all of this propaganda or power play items couldn't be easier. Get yourself into the contact section and into the power play context. This time you're not bound just to handing in 10 units of, for example, deeds or Torval deeds. You can press your finger or your mouse button or your gamepad controller on the right arrow and you can scroll up to 750 and drop those merits off. Once you've done that, then you will have achieved the correct level in power play. You can check that by going to Galactic Powers, down to your person of choice, Zamina Torval, and you can see where your galactic standing 
is going to be. Now, if for whatever reason your galactic standing is still rated at 1, you'll have to wait until the Thursday switch over, which will allow the game to update. Now this Thursday tick over has been in game for as long as I can remember since power play came in. It's a way of refreshing all the game and it happens generally around about 10 o'clock British Standard Time in game. Okay, so now for those of you who have seen me mining before, I tend to use the Imperial Cutter. Good old ship this, I've called mine the Badger's Lust. Loads of hard points and given the fact you now haven't got to put in weapons like beam lasers, pulse lasers or miniguns to defend yourself, when you go into these mining hotspots because you've got your beam mining laser the lancer um you can basically fit it out with whatever you want you know abrasion blasters you can stick in the mining lance beam laser it's only a 1d module so you'll get it in most ships so buy a couple and then when you move on from this power play individual and move on to something else then you know you're going to be all right. You're having to go back and go through this entire process because it is expensive and it is also time consuming. So with these beam mining lasers, what have I found? Well, they're not as heat efficient as mining lasers. You have gotta keep your eye on the heat. They're about as efficient as normal beam lasers, I would say. So heat is gonna be a problem if you're running multiple of these and you go off attacking your favorite rock to get your low temperature diamonds out of. However, saying that, when you do drop into a mining area and it's teeming with people who are just destined to take what you've got away from you, mug you off, as it were, then you're not feeling completely defenseless because you've stocked up your ship on pure mining tools. And some of these big ships are really expensive. I mean, you've got to check out the rebuy on this one. And it seems to me like you're trying to protect your investment as well. Now, what do I think about the mining lance? Well, you shouldn't really consider them as a weapon, okay? They're a mining laser, a weaponized mining laser, and that seems a contradiction. What I mean to say is, is that it's got an increased range. With that increased range, you've got increased heat. So far, I haven't been able to engineer them, although I haven't tried. I don't think you can. So heat is gonna be a problem if you've got five of them like what I have because as soon as you open up then you're going to start incurring additional heat additional heat could lead to damage but on the flip side of this it means that you're not going into one of these areas completely defenseless it's only a 1d module so its power will be different to any other weapon you can put on there the good thing about this is, is that you haven't put additional weapons on your ship just to help yourself feel protected a lot of people drop into these zones and just run away. As they're fixed and they're not gimbaled, if you've got a big ship, then they're going to be a little bit of a problem, right? Because you haven't got the maneuverability against some of the small ships that are going to be there to try and mug you off and take what you've just been mining. So that's one of the key issues. Would I do this power play mining again? Yes, I would, just to say that I've done it and to have the item in my inventory. Because there may be other ships, smaller ships, more nimble ships, like the Python, for example, that would benefit from this mining lance um, as opposed to putting on a protective beaming laser. Am I going to go bounty hunting with this? No, I'm not. Am I going to be able to fend off people who try to mug me off? Yes, I can. At least while I can warm the engines up, get all my pips to shields and get out of dodge. Let's talk about distance and range. The conventional mining laser has got a limited range. With these mining lance, the range is somewhat extended. In the right hotspot, you could make a lot of money, as opposed to moving here, moving there, moving here, moving there. So there you have it. That's how to unlock the mining lance, the mining beam lance from Zamina Torval. Now, Hope you found the video useful. If you have, great, drop a like and a subscribe and I'll see you on the next stream very soon. Thanks very much for watching. Laters.